please let me introduce to the stage Lisa Leslie and Kelly O'Hara. forever if you guys have been watching we appreciate your support and for us to have a live audience for our last show is pretty amazing so, so we will be our normal silly selves and have a great time but thank you so much for coming out and supporting fast friends with kelly and i i'm lisa leslie for those of you who don't know uh, my girl my girl my girl and i'm kelly o'hara And we're fast friends. We are fast friends. And listen, we have we have some fast friends in the audience. Yes. So Alona and Rachel, where are can they? You stand up. Woo! Where are you, ladies? Get lady? down here. Do you have Do you have something to show us? Let's see it. Come on, bring it down. Bring it down. We have some fast friends. You guys, show oh, the crowd. Oh, do we get these? For us? These are for us. Oh my oh, gosh, that's so that is so sweet. Oh. Fandom who did this on our autograph oh line. We were inspired and we had to make some for y'all. That is so awesome. This. this is so good. We could have worn these. Yeah, they're, Next for time. they're for you. They Thank are? You so much. Yeah. Listen, oh these my two gosh. are celebrating your 20th friend anniversary. Yep, we went friend anniversary. Yeah, she was a D1, she was a D1 basketball player. Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing? And Lisa. I've been to three women's world cups. Hell oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. We got ballers. Who has a phone? Yeah. Come on, take oh, a yeah, photo. Yeah, yeah. Let's take a picture. Let's take a picture. <laughs> somebody, somebody, Nobody? <laughs> somebody? <laughs> anybody? Okay, ready? Photo op? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait. <laughs> Amazing. Thank, thank you guys, guys so much. Yeah, thanks so much. This is so cool. I know, it's amazing. We could I can't wait. Should we, we go to cute, should we go to we? coffee together? We're Ernest? adorable. Tomorrow? Yeah. <laughs> okay. We're tomorrow. Yeah, you can have matcha. Okay. I'll have coffee. I'll have a matcha. Amazing. Okay, we'll sit them back here. Listen, okay. you, we're at NWC Championship weekend. I know. <laughs> but I just want to say, yeah. you've had quite the journey in the football world this year. You went to your first football match at the Olympics gold medal match. I brought her. Yes. That was your first match. First match. And now you're here at NWSL Championship Weekend. Did you ever think that was gonna happen? I did not, but I can <laughs> say, I can say, you guys, listen, Kelly, obviously, soccer legend. Yeah. I guess I, I, you can clap for her, of course. And then, oh, I shouldn't call myself a legend, well, but you can say it. Well, you are. No, listen, if there's one thing I know about you, you will always be like, there's more stats than that on there. Yeah. yeah. It's like, Kelly, if you're going to say them, get yeah, it all right. All. But I'll say that the journey's been amazing because I'm a new soccer fan. My children play soccer, but this is a whole different thing. Um, we're not just um, going yeah. in different directions. It's not just a kick and giggle. It's not just a kick and giggle. No. This has been so amazing to learn about the sport, obviously, from Kelly and to just to be there. And imagine my first experience at the Olympics was... In fact, did I say it was the gold medal game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, It was the best of the best. So I have fallen in love with soccer. I'm recording, I'm watching, um, and I'm you, so excited. You are recording and watching. Unfortunately, there was a time that I didn't really understand that they're going to add more time to the clock. <laughs> so I, I text Kelly at, uh, when the spirit were up. No, with, like, Gotham was I mean, was well, well Gotham, was, Gotham was winning. And then I'm like, let's go! And then someone scored. Yeah. And then the score was tied. You guys. And then they added more time. And then I was like, I'm so sorry, Kelly. I, I got a text from Lisa, and I am so stressed, obviously, like pacing the suite that we're all watching it from. I get a text from Lisa, let's effing go. And I'm like, is she cheering for spirit? <laughs> And does she have the audacity to text me this right now? And she, before she, I could even respond, she was like, oh no, damn, wrong team. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, I don't know. You know when the basketball game's over and the clock's running down, you think that it's over and then it was not. It was not, but you know what? Can't win them all. You cannot, and Washington Spirit is here. They're here. We got some fun, we got some fun spirit 
players. We got some fun guests in general. Yeah. So let's get into our first guest. Wait, I want to know really quick. Okay. How many Orlando fans are here? <laughs> Okay, not many. Okay, yeah. Spirit fans? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so spirits and traveling. And Kansas fans, of course. Yeah. Okay. Let's go, let's go. All right, makes sense. All right. Let's get it started. Well, listen. <laughs> like I said, we got some fun guests. And our first guest is someone who has been super supportive within women's sports on the brand side, which is so important yes. in being athletes and feeling that support because we need that and we want brands that are invested in like, will put in the time, the money, put their money where their mouth is. Well, I wanna say, when you talk about Ally, their name, obviously they're allies, but they're allies to women in sports. And I just wanna say to all of the people here, especially the women, we have to learn to support brands that support women in sports. Yeah. So continue 100%. to do your research on that. Yeah. Ally is one of those brands and they're groundbreaking. They're not only supporting the NWSL, yeah. they've supported the WNBA, and they're also supporting the new league that's gonna tip, out, tip off Unravel, unrivaled, unrivaled, oh, yeah. which is three yeah. on three. Um, so yeah, they are supporting us. So make sure you guys. Yeah, they're that. huge movers in the space, and we are joined by Allies Chief Marketing Officer Andrea Brenner. Yay! Yeah. Let's go, Andrea. Give it up. Look at you. Get up here. Oh my God, it's such a far walk. It is. You got it. You got it. <laughs> Sorry, Andrea. I didn't realize you were already in the room. <laughs> yeah. How are you? I'm good. I liked your little plug for Ally. If everybody would open a bank account tonight, I would really <laughs> There you go. It would be Let's awesome. Go. There you Super go. easy. Takes five seconds on your phone. Yeah, yeah. easy. Well, yeah. thank you for being here. Thank you guys for having me. I'm and excited. Yeah. Look at this crowd. This I is know. awesome. I love yeah. it, right? Yes, come on. And thank way. you for all of your support of NWSL, of WNBA, yeah. of Unrivaled. You know, I feel like, like I said, you put your money where your mouth is. So for you, how did you come to be like, Ally is going to be such a big mover in this space? Yeah, well, look, I think we saw a couple things um, really early on. I played soccer um, in, in college. Um, as I tell my kids, I played when we actually carved our ball out of stone, and which is pretty much true. <laughs> Sounds painful. <laughs> and, you know, three years ago, we saw two things that we thought were really important. The first thing was that 94% of women in the Fortune 500 in a C-suite position played sports at some time in their life, mm -hmm. and 54% at the collegiate level. Mm -hmm. And we thought, you know, as a bank, it's our responsibility to create economic trajectory in people's lives. Mm -hmm. And so that was kind of an interesting stat to us. Yeah. And at the same time, we saw that women's sports were still only getting less than 10% of the media coverage and less than 1% of the sponsorship dollars. And so we literally had this crazy idea. This was on a Thursday. Okay. <laughs> the ESPNW Summit was on Tuesday. Okay. I called Foudy, and I'm like, Foudy, because she was hosting. I'm like, we've got this crazy idea. We want to announce it. Will you let us live stream in? She's like, okay. And, I, and we live streamed into the show, and that day we made a pledge that for every dollar we spent in men's sports, we were going to match dollar for dollar in women's sports. Wow. And uh, we called it our 50-50 pledge, and at the time we were only spending 10% of our budget in women's sports and 90% of our uh, budget in men's sports, and I would say by the end of this year we'll be close enough for spitting distance to be even. Hell yeah. Which is yeah. crazy. Yeah. Which is crazy. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. And I've always talked about the fact that we needed women in the spaces of these corporate companies to use their voice, yep. use their platform to give back to women. Now that we see what has, what's happening across soccer, basketball, and with Unrivaled, how do you feel like you guys are helping these women to create opportunity and then financial opportunity as well? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, for us, what we've tried to do is really create this entire ecosystem around the women's sports space. And it was kind of based in three different areas. The first area was working with legacy media partners. Mm -hmm. And um, so maybe you guys know this fact, maybe you don't, but a couple of years ago, in Washington actually was the first time that a women's championship game had ever been played in prime time. It happened to be the NWSL championship game and it happened to be because of us. <laughs> and, Let's go, um, go ahead. Let's yeah, go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta start somewhere. Yeah. So that idea of working with legacy media platforms was the first thing. The second thing is really supporting what we call these emerging platforms. 
Just Women's Sports is a great example of that, the relationship that we've had with Just Women's Sports, sponsoring shows like this, um, doing these things to ensure that we've got ecosystems that really focus on, that are female-led, sometimes athlete-owned, um, platforms where we can have better access, better content, and, and just see the kind of coverage we want that we don't see today in women's sports from the legacy media platforms. And then the third thing is really um, what we've always called putting money directly in athletes' pockets. Um, That's the part we like. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it's Two necessary, up, right? Yeah. And so yeah. whether it's like we had Kelly out, she came and spoke at one of my offsites to my team just about what it was like to be an athlete. You know, that's a small thing, but just the ability to help her monetize and do something like that. Our formation of Team Ally, um, which is, is a group of female athletes that um, we don't use just as, as brand ambassadors. We use to help advise us and push us and say, where can we be better? What should we be doing that we're not doing? What should we be focused on? So all of those are ways that we're creating those ecosystems. I, I have a question that we didn't go over, but it just came to mind that when you talk about changing the habits of women and, and pe parents and people doing something different to participate with Ally, you mentioned it before about opening your phones, but can you really tell us what would be sort of shifting our idea if we wanted to become a part of Ally? Are there a few quick steps you can share? Yeah, absolutely. So we are, if you guys don't know, we're a digital financial services company, no brick and mortar, no physical locations. It, it, all joking aside, it, it really literally lives is on your phone. It's easy. Yeah. It lives on your phone. You can literally open the app and open an account in less than five minutes. Um, and, um, you know, we, we saw, since we made our 50-50 pledge, 65% of everybody that's coming to our storefront is female. Amazing. And, and just the Go fact, girl. yeah, exactly. And just the fact that more and more women are taking an interest in the brand. And look, no offense to the dudes in the, in the crowd, but the future is female. And, <laughs> um, and, and the wealth transference in this country towards females is incredible. And so for us as a brand, the more people that can support us and be part of the Ally family, the better. Thank you, you for asking that. Uh, yeah, that's, yeah. I just had a business question. review with my boss this morning, and I promised him we're going to get a bunch of accounts out of this weekend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get so me fired. I can do it on my own. <laughs> get on that account. So in, in talking about you know creating opportunity for athletes, not only while they're playing, but beyond playing, Lisa, you were the first WNBA player to be a part owner mm -hmm. in a WNBA <laughs> team. <laughs> you know, when you see someone like, Brianna Stewart helping to launch what we talked about, Unrivaled. Yeah. Yep. What does that tell you about the growth of women's basketball and women's sports and the opportunity that athletes are now able to have? Yeah, well, first off, I give a shout out to Paula Madison, who was the owner at the time of the Sparks, who gave me the opportunity to have a stake in ownership is huge. I think some of us, we dream about it, but you never think it could come to pass. So that was a reality that happened for me. But I think when we look now, even more opportunities are happening because these women have a seat at the table. Yes. When it comes about value, when they talked about having equity into a league that they're forming of their own, that is huge. And we hadn't seen that before. So I'm so proud of them. But again, we go back to Ally, another sponsor. Uh, when you have that type of corporate sponsorship behind you, pushing you to be amazing, then you have the opportunity. And I think it's, it's, you know, Oprah said it best, when preparation and opportunity comes together, it equals success. And that's what we're seeing right now happening across the board. But I like the other part of it is that we get to be role models for the players that are coming behind us, the players that are active now, who can see what these women are doing, and it's only going to get better. And you absolutely have. And you know, Ally doesn't just support players and leagues. Yes. It supports y'all. Fans, so, let's go. This is our Oprah moment. Everybody, check under your seat. Do a little check. Check it out. Because we got something special. And if some, who's the lucky winner? Anybody find something? <laughs> Somebody lifted a beer. Good. That's close. close. Do you see a bow? Anybody if you have, have a bow? A bow. There's hey! Get up here. Get Come down here. Because you get a car. You get a car. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wait. We do. What's your name? Delaney. Delaney. Congrats. We have two tickets to the championship game. <laughs> <laughs> so congrats. You can keep the bow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So Again, thank you. That's 
on behalf of Ally, yes. you have those two tickets, and that's what we mean by supporting businesses that support us. Yes. Thank yeah. you so Thank much. You so much Thank for being here. Thank, Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Good seeing awesome. you guys. All right. I know. Don't we, you love winning? Isn't that yeah. awesome? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I kind of was, I didn't have a. <laughs> yeah, I did it, yeah. I, I wanted to win. You did, but it wasn't for you tonight. Okay. <laughs> All right, we got our next guest coming through. It's a big one. It's a hometown hero. It's your Sally Queen. Lola Bonta, get up here. City in the house. Let's go. So okay, fun. outfit. Yeah, looking good, girl. Athletics, if you follow me, you already know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Love that. Hey, listen, supporting women. Always. Women athletes. Love support that. Them. Yeah. There we go. And they support me very well. There you go. <laughs> we love that for you. We love that thank for you. you. Thank I love you. That. All right, listen, you're a hometown host, basically. <laughs> and I want to know what makes Kansas City, I kind of already know because of like how excited the crowd has been, <laughs> what makes it such a sports town? I mean, that's literally it. I think every single person in here has showed up at least for one sports team in this city, but especially the current. <laughs> 100%. So I know you'd love to be in the championship this year, this weekend. Your fans would love for listen, you to listen, be there listen, as well. Listen, no, but listen, listen. You guys have set. <laughs> you need, wait, she might need a tissue. She might need you tissue. need tissue. <laughs> but you guys have set an amazing record having sellout crowd every single match. Let's go. That's right. Like, because you guys are really setting a precedent for the rest of the league. But when you look back at over 2024 and this whole season, what do you take away from this season? Because not only like off the field, you guys had such an amazing season on the field. And it was like yes. fun-ish to watch from afar, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Super fun, but like it was fun. I was happy for you, you know. Thank you so much. I was happy for me too. And I think, <laughs> <laughs> I think, um, you know, looking back on the season, obviously it's still raw that we just lost mm -hmm. and I had my time to be sad, but then, the next day, you know, I was like, wait, I'm so proud of everyone that was on the field with me, that was in the stands, our whole organization, the city for showing up. It felt so good to be a part of this team this year that I don't see why anybody else wouldn't want to come to this team next year. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. oh, are you are you working that free agency right now? Is that what's happening? Are we recruiting? I get commission, like I will <laughs> sign whoever. Okay. Well, speaking of free agency and recruiting, what do you think was the difference maker this year in y'all's success? <laughs> <laughs> One word. <laughs> she obviously, Temwa Chewinga, is a beast. Like, I if she, yes, thank you. If she doesn't get the MVP, I think it was stolen from her for sure. Like, she, if she wasn't on the field, we were a different team. We needed her always out there. But I think just, I mean, you played for Vlaco too. The structure of a team, it was so easy. Is that, yeah, is that Vlaco's brother? Like, who, is, who is that back there? One fan yeah. of the coach, sorry. But we had so much structure and I gave a shout out. We had our team dinner last night and I gave a shout out to the staff because they made it easy for us to just show up and be a pro, and that is what we've been fighting for. You guys have been fighting for your entire career, so it made it easy to show up and just do your job and have fun. I love that, and you know what? You do have fun. Mm. Always. You do have fun. Always. <laughs> and I wanna talk about the fun that you have in Please. your celebrations. Oh, man. Can you tell me your favorite celebration from this year? This year, I mean, I didn't have too many. Okay, I you had a couple. I had a few. Dirty Dancing. Yeah. Dirty Dancing, I think, was a crowd favorite. I, yeah. <laughs> I need to know. Y'all practice that ahead of time, right? 
in the locker room right before no. we went for warm out. Oh, 100%. I needed to know if she could carry me or not. Well, well yeah, but I'm like in the locker room before I thought a game? Yes, I thought it was gonna be one of those where I ran and she was just gonna be like, huh, <laughs> like just threw me over. Did you have people spotting when you were practicing? Oh. No. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, great, let's we're not tell We're gonna do that. or die. Um, I don't think my dad was a fan of the wedgie one. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he did not like that one, but my personal favorite it was during the Olympics, and this legend of an athlete, you know, Simone Biles, did this, yeah. did this record breaking routine. And at the end of it, you know, she did the little. Yeah. And I had to shout her out, and it went viral. But I'm like, that's, that's us. It's women sporting women and just women in sports. Yeah. I love it. I love it. That's awesome. So, my question for you do you think that the NWSL should have like a silly award yeah. at yeah, the like end an of the year, like an official yes, award. A yeah. monetary award, yes. Mo <laughs> <laughs> Show me the money. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's getting paid. Yes. Okay, what do you guys think? Let's take a poll vote. Yeah. Do we want a Sally Award? Yes. Yes. But like, I agree, and someone asked me the day, like the other day, do you think you'll always be known as a Sally Queen? And probably because I twerked and went viral, like I will, but... <laughs> What I'm most proud of is that people on my team are starting to celebrate. People on other teams are celebrating. Yeah. Spirit, you have a lot of players, Trinity Rodman in them, they do goal celebrations as well. And it just shows the joy that these people have when they do well at that, and that's what I'm most proud of. Yeah. I love that's that. Cool. That's cool. You, you're like, you know, just setting trends left yeah. and right. As long as people are having fun, I'm having fun. Okay, yeah. you said Trinity Rodman <laughs> likes to celebrate. If you had to pick a team out of Orlando and Spirit, who do you think would win a celly off? Oh, a celly off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> What's Logan gonna say? I just lost Orlando, so. <laughs> but no spirit, all, I'll say it for you. Yeah. <laughs> in all honesty, I do think when it comes to celebrations that the spirit, I mean, they're, they have so many young players that know all the TikTok trends. Like, <laughs> I learn about trends through them doing their goal yeah. celebration. So I, I would have to go with them. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. We'll okay. see, maybe, do you think, Tomorrow, maybe, yes. yeah, maybe we'll get Saturday. Yeah. Guys, whatever, what is time? What day is it? Um, <laughs> all right, to transition a little bit, you were on the off season. Yeah. <laughs> You guys like that? Yeah. yeah you guys, you guys I know, like final episode tomorrow, who wins? I don't know, I do know, but. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I gotta know, what was that like? Is it, are you, do you enjoy, like, have you been watching the episodes? Did you get like a sneak peek ahead of time? What's it been like knowing that you had, a lot filmed and now it's all out in the world. Yeah, well it's crazy because every time a new episode comes out, I'm in practice oh. usually. And so I'll just see my phone after like, you know, people tweeting at me, my dad telling me like, how could you say that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dad, and I was yeah. not like, oh no, what happened in this episode? But it's just me being me, so you know, yeah. the usual. But it was such a good time and I think what is crazy is all, all this filming took place in January this year and all the storylines that happen and change throughout the season, like Paige Nielsen, for example, getting traded, Maria Sanchez setting the tone for a highest paid player, and now other pay players getting paid out. It's, these storylines are crazy and it's the stuff we go through, so I love that those are finally being shared and highlighted, and the fact that Allie Watt is the one that made it out of the whole group to the final is <laughs> amazing. Uh, Shout out off like, season. Yeah. yeah. It is it weird seeing telling. yourself? Like seeing yourself on the show? Yeah, I think my hair was like this too, actually, in a lot of the like interviews. But well, it looks good, so thank you, yeah, thank good. you. It, it's, I don't know, not necessarily. I, I am who I am on screen, off screen. Um, it's just good to see that you know my circle usually knows what I says, but now all the Twitter knows. <laughs> <laughs> so see my PJs, like what I eat. Yeah, it's, I love it's it. All right. Well, listen, thank you for coming on. Yeah. Go enjoy your off season Always. and lean into it. I will. Yeah. And, oh, wait, 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 wait. Thank you for being here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Can I just say, because you said enjoy your off season. Oh, gosh, what do you got for me? Can I, can I just say I'm grateful to have looked up to you my entire oh. career. 
I know when you said lean into it and I'm going to my off season, but just congratulations on everything you've done and thank you for everything you've done. Aww. Retirement is going to look good on you, <laughs> but you. yeah, sorry. I had to say that. Thank you. You're so cute. Oh my God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But seriously, go enjoy. Yes. I can compliment you too while I'm here. Sure. You're great. You're Love everything you've done. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I didn't think I that really I like all the soccer yeah, littles. You know, they're, just, they're just so sweet. We love the soccer girls. And you guys fight so much, but you guys are so nice On to each other. On the field, yeah, we are. No, I'm like, basketball players, we don't really like yeah. each other. Oh, you don't? Oh, I thought you were going to say that you didn't fight. No, no, we fight, but then we don't hang out. Like, you guys are so cool. Oh, yeah, we do, yeah. I like, because I mean, you guys are rough. Yeah, no, I know. You're rough too. Like, we're we rough, but well, you listen, guys are rough. Too. Listen, we got one of the roughest joining yes. us next. <laughs> Let's go. Two, two angels coming down the center aisle. We got Allie Riley and Mary Mazzaio. Let's go. Yeah, girl. And you're working it. Oh, uh -oh. We got a, oh, oh, okay. Yes. So now you got to take a picture of that to get the this next was, picture. This is the only way I felt like I could do last year's shirt justice was to wear was to wear a picture of me on the show wearing, wearing the, the, shirt. the shirt with the picture of you. <laughs> so you know what I'm wearing next year. <laughs> this on a shirt. <laughs> right. But I want to be in the background. Yeah, okay. Okay, perfect. Or you could wear the shirt of me wearing the shirt. Of me wearing the shirt, yeah. of me wearing the shirt yeah. with the picture of you. Okay, perfect. Uh, it. We got a plan. Okay, you, did you follow that? Yeah. Okay, great, great, great. Yeah. All right, listen. Thank you guys for being here. Yeah. How are you guys for doing? Our little LA babes. Well, we well. Are babes. LA oh, babes. Are LA is you in the are. house. Me too, <laughs> yeah. guys. We got three. I'm just yes, like the oh. Southern Peach. Oh, yeah. Out, yeah. you know, yeah. on yeah. man out. Well, I'm trying to get you to move to LA. Well, mm. we'll see what happens. Taxes. That no, wasn't no. enough. Yeah, exactly, Taxes. exactly. Don't do it. All right, listen, you guys are both on Angel City. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to get into taxes. We're both, you, guys are both, you guys are both on Angel City. And there's a lot of young players in Angel City. And Merritt, you just announced your retirement. I did. Congrats Thank to you. you. Congrats. But fun fact, which I didn't know, you played in the first NWSL game ever. Yeah, she yes, did. Yes, I did. Uh, like, as you guys. <laughs> right here in Kansas no City. No way. At Shawnee Mission High School. There you go. Had a track around the field and everything. Wow. Oh my, we've really come a long way. Okay, listen. <laughs> I gotta know, because you've been here from the beginning. I mean, we all yes. have, but you yes. literally played in the first game. Yes. What do you tell all of these little, little. kids? <laughs> Girls, teenagers, the younger players. I mean, there's some players who were seven years old that play on your team when you played in your first game. That's Gosh, crazy. Kelly. I mean, Did you listen, have to do the math. I'm no, older Kelly, than her, so we know. We know. You know? <laughs> like, I'm just. But well, first, but, I start with like, you're welcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what, yeah. Yeah. What do you tell them about like the early days of this league and the now? Yeah, I think I love the younger players on our team. They are. They are quite literally some of the best individuals and love being in the environment and honestly keep us young. I think I'm like, you know what? I'm going to miss like being retired. I'm like, I'm not going to know what an yeah. lingo means. Exactly. I'm not going to know what <laughs> songs are being played. No, it's so true. Um, but I think our group is like, they are very humble and they have a lot of respect for the veteran players and, um, come every day wanting to learn and just like really be a sponge around like how do I get better what does this look like but I will say when you know we reflect or have our stories and their eyes are like this big oh, I'm they're sure. like mouths are on the floor <laughs> and they're like what do you mean <laughs> and I, and it, I mean I think that's why we've all done this right is to have that reaction and for them to be able to come in in their rookie year and to experience something like Angel City it is why we put it in this work. It's why we stayed in this league. 
it's why we put everything we had in it. And um, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, in, that mo in those moments, you're really proud. And um, I think it's really something, it's really something to be able to leave something better than you found it and for them to have an opportunity to have a career that we all deserved, we did not get, yeah. but they will, and it's really cool. Well, well, y'all are, are doing the Lord's work, so. <laughs> yeah. Let's just remind the folks yeah. that you're a three-time champion. Let's talk the stats Three-time Shield Woo! winner. Yeah, you like. So for all of the young okay. folks that don't understand that you've accomplished so much, what are you most proud of in your career? When I reflect back on my career, I think if I just solely looked at the stats, I would be proud of it. I've done a lot in this league. I've played a lot of minutes. I've played on a number of championship teams with incredible women. Um, but I think when I look back on my career, the thing that really rounds it out and like really speaks to my journey is like my work that I did for the uh, PA and the work that was done on our CBA. I want that. Yeah. Cause you know what? You know what? So many people don't know about that work because it yeah. goes on behind the scenes. Yeah. It's not highlighted. So it's a, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of hours and it's a lot of effort, but it has significantly pushed our league forward. It will be, um, the, it will have a platform for us to come back to negotiations over and over again with being able to push that bar and boundary further. Um, so yeah, when I look back on that, I think I am so very proud that I signed up for that and said, like, let me take this on. Should be. Thank you. So, Allie, you tweeted. Oh, wait, we're, I'm just going to talk to Mary. Okay. Right. We'll hold on. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Yeah, Allie. No. I'm used to this. Still look pretty used to this. <laughs> Allie, you tweeted that if anyone else was going to lift up the NWSL trophy, you'd want it to be Marta. Oh, be yes. Marta. Yeah. Yes. Uh, sorry, sorry. Can you um, tell us just about your personal relationship with her and, and, you know, how great she is, of course? Yeah, I think I don't like to see any other team win the championship, right. of course, <laughs> let alone be there live now again. Um, but there are players, friends who kind of transcend that. That was Kelly last year going to the game, watching with her parents with a t-shirt with her face on it, when obviously <laughs> I, I had, had hoped that it would have been us, of course. Um, and Marta is another one of those players that I just can't say enough about. I played on four teams with her, which is wild. Yeah. Um, there isn't a player out there who is so stubborn that she won't lose. And we <laughs> saw that look in her eyes, I think, in the semifinal. But to be drafted onto a team that had Marta on it and Kelly O'Hara, of course, for my rookie season, I mean, that's when you have someone that you look up to right in front of your eyes. You see the work ethic. And it's not something you necessarily expect with someone of that status as an icon and had already achieved so much. And so to be in her presence and I can't say I learned from her because I can't do anything that she can do <laughs> still. Um, but to see her hard work and she was the first player that I had ever seen a young boy, this was when we played together in Sweden, but a young boy come up to and just, you know, was beside himself, had no words and his mom had to say, you know, my son is a huge fan and I had, I, and you know, it's, again, going back to the young players in the league now, they, they will be used to that. Yeah. We have young boys and men who wear our jerseys. Mm -hmm. I had never experienced that before, but she had that status and the humility, um, yeah, for so long. And I just, she's done so much, but I feel like this trophy at a club like Orlando, um, would be icing on the cake for her. She doesn't need it, but I know she wants it so badly. Yeah. And when we saw that vintage Marta goal, oh my God. I'm like, she's, she's ready for it. Vintage yeah. Marta. She's ready for it. It's like Marta doing Marta. You're like, she's she's going, What's you're like, she's gonna cut you. Yeah. She's gonna cut you. Yeah. No, she did it. Like, oh my gosh. She's gonna cut both of you. <laughs> like, why are we both? Anyway, that's the here there. Um, <laughs> Allie, you talked about how you played on four teams with Marta. <laughs> Yeah. And you played on Orlando with her. Mm -hmm. What do you think has been the catalyst for the team this year? You know, they're having their best season, have broken so many records. Do you know any inside information as to like, <laughs> what's going on that's allowed them to be so successful? No betting, guys. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, 
I think the club has gone through a lot of changes. It's gone through a lot of changes since, since I was there. But to have someone like Marta at the core the entire time who wants it so badly every year, even though there were the results that weren't good, the seasons that were less than expected. And then Seb, I have to give him his flowers. He was our assistant, more of a defensive coach that I felt really lucky to learn from when I was there for that kind of one and a half awkward COVID season. And I think <laughs> with him at the helm and just, again, someone who knows excellence, he played at a high level himself, who has high standards, but has that personal connection. He's a player, he's a coach that you want to win for, that motivates you. And I mean, look at the roster. It, yeah, is, a, stack. it is a stack, <laughs> it is a really great team, but there are players who have done so well this season that you might not have bet on in preseason. And I think that's so great about this league that there's this platform, you're seeing players win awards at the end of the season, you're seeing players who you might not have known their name or, or expected a lot from them in the beginning and they showed up and they've taken their team to the championship. So it, I think it just, it's a really special group and I know they really want it for the club and to show that it's done this full turnaround and this nearly perfect season, I mean, they're one, they're one went away. Yeah, no, it's true. <laughs> I, I completely agree because I feel like there's something special going on. I feel like I can see it when I'm watching from the outside, how they celebrate together and just, they, they seem like very cohesive and all in the same car, going down the same road. So <laughs> we'll see if they can pull it together on the weekend. But Merit, yep. no more soccer games for you. No more. You <laughs> announced your retirement earlier this year. I did. Well, like a couple yeah. weeks, months? Yeah. A how does it feel? And what's next? Oh my goodness. It feels really nice. I think the timing for me was quite perfect. Um, I kind of had going into this year, even stepping back onto the field was going to be a big win for me. The previous um, season, I had two knee surgeries. I got diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. Um, and so just being able to like come back and do what I love to whatever extent I could was going to be something I was going to cherish. I did not go into the season thinking I was going to be my last year. Um, but it started to just kind of bubble up and I started to face it and kind of talk about it and say the word and it felt really calming and really at ease and like mm -hmm. everything aligned within me that it was probably the right move. Um, but I will have to sit here and give Ali so much um, gratitude because I was kind of talking about it and I kind of is in between like, do I announce it or should I just let the season end and just- She was gonna just slide off yeah. yeah. into- <laughs> And she's like, are you kidding? Yeah, that's that's not you at all, yeah. one. And two, why not? That's and not I, why I said it. We wanted to give you your flowers. Yes. We wanted to celebrate you. All these things you've done. It's so important for everybody to know, especially the stuff about the CBA and being part of a PA. Yeah. And you have done so much. Thank and you. It was very important. <laughs> Very important. And it was it was a great it was a great celebration. Yeah, no, it was an incredible day. I he dressed think... up like you for God. <laughs> I loved that. Which you already want. Which will literally be something I will never forget. It was such an incredible, incredible moment. So 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 sweet. Um, yeah, I think that day was just because I allowed myself to be celebrated, it went in a way that I was like, I almost couldn't comprehend like the amount of like love and admiration. Mm -hmm. um, I knew that I had I had an impact on like the sport and the community. I didn't quite understand the depth of that. Um, and I think for me, what I really cherish about giving that moment, allowing myself to be celebrated is, I look at my career and I'm really proud of it. It took me a long time to be proud of it. Um, because like being on the national team and winning a World Cup and winning a gold medal, that was all that I knew growing up. There was no professional team. So it was like either you make a national team or what is success. Yeah. And so defining success for me and really coming to terms that like I can have a really legitimate career and it be a really badass club career, um, to set that blueprint for whoever's next to be like, Yo, you can do incredible things in this league and you can have your moment, you can have your flowers and it can be celebrated in a way that you would never expect. 
Love that. I love that. And you should be proud of that. Well, congratulations, Mary. Yes. I want to say to you, Allie. Oh, I think we're out of time, actually. Well, wait a minute, uh. because listen, <laughs> we've been fast friends, but I know that you and my friend Kelly have been closer friends. All right, fine. Like, best friends. <laughs> Do you have any good... Oh, I think we're out of time. No, we're not. <laughs> Do you have any good Kelly stories for us real quick? Come on. <sighs> yeah. We're out of time. She's well, giving me the I'm look. Probably two. No, you got one. In front no. of her parents? No. Surely you can't remember anything. I, I have a lot of good Kelly yeah. stories, <laughs> many of which I cannot say right now. I appreciate you. But I do remember mm. that when we lost national championship game our senior year at Stanford. Oh God, what do you oh, remember? Bummer. That so Kelly, dark, it's turning dark fast. Kelly was beside herself and was like, there will never be light again. And, <laughs> and it's over. I'm not dramatic. And we were saying to her, you are gonna go on to win gold medals and World Cups. And I just wanna say I was right. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm glad we had time for that. That was nice. <laughs> thank you both for being here. Oh my here. gosh, thank you guys for and having us. You know what? Good, good luck with recovery and good luck with retirement. Yes. I know, R&R &R &R up yeah. here. Yeah, R&R. Yeah, R &R. Well, R &R. You guys are ditching me, but. Recover, well, retirement. I know, okay, listen, listen. 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 Bye, you know? Think yeah. about it. <laughs> well, the angels. Bye, love you guys. Okay. Thank you so like, much. Oh my God, Sorry. we need to we need to get this photo right now. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna do a photo live. Anybody can hit this. Yeah, we oh need. God. Come here. We got a photo live. Love, love you. Thank you. Lisa. Well, maybe you guys should do a photo live. I'll, I'll hang out in the back. Oh yeah, should we just get Lisa in the back? Yeah. 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 You like okay. this? Yeah. So you just stand one. here. And then we'll just be like, yeah, just act like Lisa doesn't exist. Act like I'm not here. All right, fine. I'm in it. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you. We don't know who's taking a picture, but thank yeah, you guys. This is why I came on the show. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We just needed to make another t-shirt. Thank you guys for being here. Oh, man. All right, wait a second. So wait, oh, cool. Oh, what do we got? We got somebody coming down the aisle. What do we, we have a special delivery? Okay. Something fun. That's oh, it's Utah Royals. Kate Delfava, get up here. Okay, what do you have? Okay, what is what this? What is this? I have Shark Ninja juices. Okay. Oh, thank you. What did I get? Ninja juices. Lime. Lime. And grapefruit. Okay, this is, oh, this this is straight lime? Straight skin. lime. Okay, perfect. Cheers. Cheers. Bottoms up, girlfriend. <laughs> I was told you have to chug ooh, it. Oh gosh. Oh golly. <laughs> well, good it gracious. Is, it is fresh, fresh. I, it is really, really like yum. just, just yes. the grapefruit. Yep. I, so <laughs> super I was, organic. I was told there'd be margaritas. Oh no? yes, those are. Oh, okay, there's no. Okay, this there. is okay. so nice. We can get some tequila. <laughs> so nice of you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for bringing us these. This is delicious. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and I can't. And I can't. <laughs> Don't Wait, show. Let me try yours. Do you want to switch? Or do you not no, want to share? No, I don't want to switch. I'm fine. I should have brought a shot of tequila. that close. Okay, well, excuse me. Okay. switch. Okay, well, but I'll get more downstairs. This is downstairs. super tart. I know, but it's delicious, because it's fresh. Yeah, but can yeah. we yeah. drop a little honey? <laughs> no, After, God, I'm going to get some tequila. Are, I'm so sorry. Watering. <laughs> Listen, Kate, thank you for these delicious drinks. Yes. <laughs> Cheers, Kate. No sarcasm. Okay. Oh my gosh, I can't drink another one. <laughs> It makes your jaws like <laughs> because it's that's contouring. How, that's you know? how fresh contouring. exactly, exactly. It's definitely contouring. <laughs> All right, listen, Kate, you returned to Utah yes. this year, yes. their first season back. Yes, we played together. We did. How was it coming back to Utah? It was really nice, actually. Yeah, I really enjoyed my time in Utah. Obviously, an expansion team is. A piece of work. Yes, <laughs> truly. To put that lightly. But, Kate, um, your, skin, your skin looks great. Thank it's probably you. the first thing I think it's the Yes! Oh. Oh. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, I was just like, okay. Okay. okay, go ahead. Thank you. <laughs> How's Utah? Yes. Ninja, shark ninja grapefruit juice <laughs> every day. Yeah. You go. do. Yeah. Thank it's you. amazing. Um. <laughs> or are you like 10? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm sorry. Lisa, <laughs> I know. Stay on they should have brought me for live. You know how silly I am. <laughs> oh my god. It makes, for the, makes for the best show. Okay, go ahead. Um, um, but yes, it's Utah's been great been being good. back in Utah. Good. I think towards the end of the season, we showed um, what we're capable of, and I'm excited to see what next year holds. Amazing. Will yeah. you 
Go ahead. But go oh, ahead. Because Utah you know. has, do you know they have a new facility? I, like, I did hear that. I was, yeah. How is that? Because, yeah. you know, all of the professional women's yeah. teams would love to have their own facilities. Oh, How is that? I think investment in women's sports is so important. Mm -hmm. um, and to have a training facility like that, it is actually sponsored by Spark Shark Ninja. Let's so, go! Shark Ninja. Ninja. Yeah. That's how she's drinking all these juices. Guys. Shark Ninja. Put that on, like that. Yeah. On your notes. But yeah. to be real, I mean, investment in women's sports is so, is so vital. And Shark Ninja coming in. I mean, you look at the teams that are in the final this year. I think investment is at the top of their priority mm -hmm. list, and it shows being in the final. So, um, yeah, we have a great new facility, new coach. We're ready to maybe be here next year. Who maybe. Knows? All right. Well, maybe we'll see you next year. Thank you thank for you the delivery. Thank you guys so much. So good to see and you. And so good to see you. Amazing, guys. Shark, Shark Ninja. Yeah. Shark Ninja. Exactly. Shark Ninja. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Good to see you. Thank you. Woo! You kill me. No, but this, it's really good. No, I know. Oh. It's very fresh. Very, very fresh. Exactly. Don't say the word fresh again. Okay, sorry. Well, it is. <laughs> I literally so watched them, like, they were, like, doing the juicing downstairs. My eyes. I don't think I need glasses anymore. <laughs> You're perked up. You're ready to go. Like, I can see so good now. All right, well, listen. We got our next guest coming down the aisle. These girls, oh, everyone turns. Wait a second. I'm gonna, it's like a wedding. I'm gonna, I, got, I got a little ahead of myself on the alley and merit intro, so I'm going to give these girls their flowers. Okay, and I need my glasses again. Okay, yeah, yeah, so put your glasses on. Go ahead. All right, we've got a pair of teammates from one of this year's championship squads. Let's go. Okay. One is already an NWSL champion and former rookie of the year and golden boot winner. The other Ooh. matched the NWSL single season record for assists this year, won a gold medal with USWNT, and just was named NWSL Rookie of the Year and Mitchell of the Year. Oh. Yes, we got and the team. Come on down. We got, some, we got some award winners walking up here. I mean, do you guys have enough room in your trophy cases for all of your individual trophies? And accolades? I mean, speak for yourself. <laughs> I don't, listen, I, I'm a team girly. I don't got a lot of individual words, you know what I'm saying? So my trophies are just for the team. Yeah, congrats. And congrats on making it to the final. We're happy for you. Thank you. You guys. That was so fake. <laughs> I'm happy for you guys. I don't know if she is. Well, listen. I'm happy for Spirit. No, that's, oh. yeah, no, seriously. <laughs> pump for you guys. What's it, Spirit fan? <laughs> Washington All the, Spirit makes yeah. some noise. We got Spirit. OK, I want to I, <laughs> I wanna talk about um, this year and the coaching. So mid-season, new coach comes in. How was that transition, and how did you guys handle it as a team? Yeah, I feel like it's been a really smooth transition. We had Adrian for the first part of the season, um, and with Jonah coming in the second part, I feel like you couldn't really tell that there was a transition. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like we've blended as a team, and with him, it's just been going up. Like, we didn't miss a beat. Well, I saw you celebrating with him after the win. <laughs> that was honestly quite an epic picture. Again, happy for you guys. Um, <laughs> You don't even, listen, yeah. Ashley. <laughs> just Ashley, happened. Ashley, you know, it the just two happened. you won in WSL yes, with Spirit, we did. right? Yes, we did. We can hear that out. Let's go. Yeah. Come on now. We can all be happy about that. Do you feel like <laughs> that championship yeah. experience that she really does like and is happy about? <laughs> no, do you think that experience will help you for this weekend? Oh, yeah, definitely. I think being there and, like, feeling those, like, jitters and, you know, like, the whole season amounting to this last game, like, being able to experience that and, like, prepare and also help the young ones who haven't been there yet I think is really important. And so I'm just really excited. Is your advice to stay loose or kind of, like, stay laser-focused? And, you know, because some people yeah. have different approaches to that. Yeah, I mean, I think whatever works best for you. For me, like, staying as calm as possible and just being, like, super present and enjoying the moment not getting too ahead of yourself or getting too worried or anxious. And at the end of the day, it is just another soccer game. Um, so just trying to prepare as best as possible. And for me, that's just, like, staying calm and just going out there and playing my best. So it's different for everyone, but I think you have to find what works best for you and then go ahead and do it. Okay, I've, when we played together, I ne you never seemed phased like with the moment, with the match, with the pressure, all those things. But in the 2021 championship game, 
two of our players were basically throwing up before we went out for the lineup. <laughs> I don't know if some of you guys know the story, but literally we're in, we're in the, you're, are you grossed out? What's yes. happening? Oh, okay. Well, what's happening? <laughs> But basically, my pearls. Yeah, exactly. oh my god, <laughs> you're like these soccer girls. Um, but they were so nervous that we were missing two of our players in the starting eleven lineup before we like walked onto the field. Yeah. So I'm curious, do you think there's anybody on the team this year that <laughs> might do that? Might be like throwing up nervous. Yeah, that nervous. That's kind of throwing you under the bus to have to call somebody out honestly, like that. Honestly, I don't know. I feel like we, even like our young players, they're just all so mature. Yeah. And like, even like the semifinal game and like all the playoff games that we've had, like I felt like that excitement, like anxious nervousness, but not this like, oh my gosh, I'm going to be sick type of nervousness. That's so, good. I mean, I don't know. I hope not. Like, I, I, don't, I don't see any of our teammates. Do you? No. I no. Think I can't. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, listen, how much advice or what's the best advice you've received from some of the veterans this year? Yeah, um, honestly, Hatchie's been great just trying to follow in her footsteps, you know, championship rookie of the year. Um, her and Andy have given me great words, just being true to myself, but also learning and taking it day by day within the process. He's so sweet. <laughs> I mean, Lisa, Lisa for sure wants to give you a hug right now. Like, that's what that's, she's like. Well, listen, Kelly's been raving about you, and she told me how talented you are and the fact that you got injured early. Again, I'm so new to soccer and just watching and becoming a fan. And when she was going over the numbers, and I'm like, wow, she, how, is, how did she have that many assists at, like, mid? Was it, like, yeah. mid? Only 17 See? games. Yeah. And the most assists. Like, that's so insane. So it's, it's really a pleasure for me to be And vice versa. Yeah, and congratulations. So I'm kind of like in awe, but then you're yeah. so, I'm like, girl, you are kicking butt up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're like, like, You little show. soccers, you guys are. We're cute, we're cute. <laughs> you guys are cute. We're you cute. guys got like fashion style. We're but sour, so we're sour, we're sweet. There. Or we're sweet and then we're sour. I like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. I mean, you've had an incredible rookie season mm -hmm. and it's been fun to watch from afar. What has been the standout moment for you? One, thank you. Um, oh, you're welcome. <laughs> um, I'd for sure have to say the Olympics, just the experience and me being young and halfway through my season actually going, like not a lot of people get the opportunity. So to be there to one gold and just take it all in, it's even to this day, I'm still like, did that even happen? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. That's awesome. I mean, it is a very special moment. So congrats to you and congrats on an amazing season. I hope you recover quickly. Hatchy, yes. good luck this weekend. Thank you. We'll be cheering. Yeah. You guys are awesome. Thank yeah. you for being here. You guys are great. Yeah. Lisa's we look forward you to watching you in the future. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for coming. Yeah. yeah. Thank, Thank you, so you guys. Have, a have fun on Thank Saturday. You we love on both you sides. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, we are. Oh, it's time. Sorry, sorry, I couldn't hide my still sadness oh from the weekend. Oh my god, was, that was like this rudest I've ever seen. <laughs> no, that wasn't being rude. No, because you were like, yeah, good luck. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, could you be <laughs> any more biased right now? Well, it's let's listen. It's tough. I know, I but get I it. am. The, the Spirit has had an incredible season, and those two especially have done incredibly That's well. That's how so. you should have said well, it. Retake. Okay, sorry, guys. No, Retake. That's sorry, how sorry. you should have right, said right, it. You're right, you're right. You said it like, well. OK, all right, all right. Well, the spirit's been balling. I know they sent they Gotham have. home, but yeah, yeah. Listen, to our, that was tough. Yeah, it was unfortunate. OK, so it's only fair if we have two players from one of the championship teams to bring out somebody from Orlando, right? Do you well, think we, so? Even though you're kind of cheering for spirit? Are you OK with me bringing out an Orlando player? You should. OK. Because Orlando is amazing. And she's listen. coming down the way right now. Here we go. We got Carson Pickett in the nice. house. Get up here, girl. Hi, Carson. I'm so excited. I came early. Yeah, I love that for you. Carson, nice to meet you. Hi. And I will not be as shady as Kelly has been okay. to the Washington spirit. OK. Oh, OK. I did well, hear a little yeah, yeah, in the okay. back. OK. It's all right. OK, but listen, because we want everybody to win. <laughs> Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. Well, Carson, congrats on being in the final. Yes. Are you positive? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> How are you feeling? Yeah, I mean, I'm feeling great. I mean, coming mid season to the first team, not too bad. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, no, I mean, 
for sure. Excited. Can you can you tell me about that? Because like you said, you joined mid season late late August. Um, but you previously played for Orlando, 2018 to 2020. So what an interesting perspective to have been with them then yeah. and to come back now. Like, what's mm-hmm. the biggest change you've seen within the club? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's so different now. Um, I think the biggest thing for me is back in the day, I played when the end of itself still was trying to be the best league, but we just weren't getting there. Um, and so I think we were just kind of getting by as a club before, and now I feel like they've brought in Haley Carter as a GM, um, Seb, and they brought in really good players and stuff, but now I feel like there's a real direction in the club, and it was just to be the best team in this league. So yeah. um, I think before, again, we were just kind of getting by and just trying to, like, survive in WSL, and now I feel like there's complete direction, and we know what we want to do. I love that. Okay, first Important. Off. Direction's important. It is. Imagine that, guys. Yeah, crazy. crazy. <laughs> Who crazy. would have thought? No, <laughs> like the personable you are now. Okay, all right. I listen. <laughs> okay, listen. Orlando's been fabulous, but I got two words for you. Marta Banda. Hmm. How, <laughs> how is it practicing against them? I mean, they are scoring machines. Yeah. They're legends. How, how is that for you? Uh, awful. <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible. Um, yeah, I think my first practice, Barb ran by me like five times. And I'm like, ooh, I don't know if this is a good decision to come here. But no, I mean, honestly, yeah. after the first couple of days, I was like, whoa, like the trainings here will make me a better player, yes. probably better than some of the games I'm playing in. So yeah, it's, it's a track meet every day. They're so good. Barb's so fast. She's so good. But I think Having Barb has taken, you know, a lot of the attention off of Marta as well, which I think is actually a good thing because then she can kind of not be the only one people are looking after and kind of give her more room to do her thing. But it's it's been incredible, pressure. one, just to train against them and play and play with them every day. But they're just great teammates as well. Marta's an unbelievable teammate. I, I, we talk about her soccer all the time, her abilities, but the best thing about Marta is that She's just an amazing human. Oh, I love to hear that. Yeah. Oh, that makes you happy. Girls. <laughs> Good people. Yeah. It's just so important for the planet. Yeah. Yeah. It really oh, is. Hello. Imagine that. Yeah. Yeah. Is that, yeah. that novel idea? <laughs> it's hard to find. Okay, well, you, you talked about Seb already, Seb Hines, um, y'all's coach, NWSL Coach of the Year, mm-hmm. which is very exciting for him. He took over in 2022 and is already the all-time winningest coach in Pride history. Like, what a stat. That's crazy. Yeah. What does he bring to the table that you've seen? Yeah, I mean, obviously playing soccer for so long, you have so many different kind of coaches. Um, And I think, you know, there's some that really get the best out of you, but in different ways. I think the best thing about him is that people respect him. So he's not going to get in your face, yell at you, and tell you to be better. But it's almost like you want to be better for him. So I think he's gained the respect that, you know, we really needed. And some clubs do better with coaches that are really, really hard on you. And others do better with coaches that you just want to do everything that you can to please Mm -hmm. them. And I feel like that's kind of something that, you know, we have at the Orlando Pride is that we just want to do the best that we can for him because he's turned the club around, you know, single-handedly. Yeah. So Orlando Pride has been pretty dominant all season, winning the Shield, the possibility of winning the championship, the possibility of being the first team to to win both. No, not first. Okay, one of the teams. Okay, I'm (laughs) I'm learning here, okay? One of the teams, but one of the top teams. One. Yeah, one a a team. One of the teams to win the Shield and the championship in the same season. Correct. It is hard to do. It's very hard to do. So my question for you is, (laughs) because my teacher's over here. Yeah. Yeah. My question for you then is, when did you guys know, or when did you know what point of the season that you're like, oh my God, like we're really good and we could possibly like win this all? Well, or I can did say that just happen the, last week? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, I can say when I was on Louisville watching them, I'm like, oh, you they're like, going to oh, win. Yeah. Gonna, yeah. <laughs> so when I was not on their team, I thought they were going to win. Oh. And now that I'm on their team, I definitely think we're going to win. Um, no, nice. I mean, I think it's really hard to do, like to win the Shield. It is. And to do, you know, to do that the way that they did it Mm -hmm. um, to go undefeated for so long is just like incredible. I've never seen anything like it. So I think the cool thing about this team is that they honestly just believe in themselves so much the way that they defend. And like, like if we get a win a game, but there's a goal scored on us, like it is not okay. Like even though we won the game, like I think that they just take so much pride in what they do. And I realized that the, the minute I stepped through those doors that, you know, they, it is a team atmosphere. It's a family atmosphere, and they will fight till the end. So, yeah. I think they knew relatively early, but they're not—they're not a team that kind of 
wishes and hopes that they're going to do well. Like they go game by game by game and never get ahead of themselves. And I think that's what's been cool to see. All right. Well, we got we're gonna we're gonna here. find out Saturday <laughs> if y'all can do it all. So good luck. Hopefully. Are you rooting for us? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Thank you for coming. Yeah, of course. No worries. <laughs> Let me know later if you're ready to go. Bye. Put me on the spot. Listen. Listen. Now, well, you got to be honest here because you know you're on camera. You, no, are you, well, who are you taking away with, from anything or with anything in front of you? I know. Yeah, with you. I'm but listen, surprised. we have something fun coming up to maybe help us figure out what will happen on Saturday. Wait, but do you have a prediction before we get into what will happen? I do have a prediction. What, you go first. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's the deal. When you think about Marta, Banda, the story is there. They've been undefeated for most of the season. They won the Shield. The possibility of them winning the championship all in the same season just seems like they are the team to choose. So I'm choosing the underdog. I'm going with Washington Spirit. <laughs> because I just like their grit and their fight. And listen, when I text you and I thought you guys had won, but the way they came back <laughs> was like, the game is never yeah. over because the grit and the fight. And then Kingsbury, she just is so great as a goalkeeper. I mean, your goalkeeper had won goalkeeper of the year. Yeah, she did. But bro, she like, what was she going the wrong way of the ball? And I was right, you know like, what? You what? know what? Now I'm starting. I'm just being honest. This is what happened. Oh I, oh, I know you're being honest, but now I'm starting to question. I'm going to be honest with you. Now I'm starting to question. What? if you actually meant that text. <laughs> no, actually I didn't. I was, that was before that all happened. I was like, yay, we won. I don't believe go, you. Go Gotham, go Gotham. And then I was like, oh no. <laughs> and then when they, because okay. it was so exciting. But it the, was. The kickoff. Okay, we don't, we don't, kickoff? listen, we don't. What is that call when they start kicking? The penalty shootout. Penalty, okay. the penalty <laughs> shootout. Listen, listen that yeah. is, that's in the past. We're talking about this weekend. Okay, so this You're weekend. You're clearly going with spirit. Washington Spirit. I'm going, I'm going with Orlando. I and actually want everybody to win. I know you do. But that's, you know, like, you, you, you're like, oh, I want you everyone to win. you got This is a, you're a killer. Come what do you mean on. you want everyone to win? Anyway. I, I just look at listen, all of these names. They're all so deserving. You take Spirit. Okay. I'm going to take Orlando. Okay. And now we're going to let FC25 simulation. All right. Show us. Let's see. Show us what we what, what might happen. Or can what you turn into like a commentator? Yeah. Okay. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna comment. I've never commentated on a video game before. I actually don't know how to play this, but um, <laughs> but I do know how to you commentate. Can do so it. we've got here. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Oh, you have one too. There you go. All right. Okay. Listen. So we've got Orlando over here in the four four two. Okay. You know that. So that's just the, the number. Four four two. You told okay, me. Yep. Yeah. The line. Yep. And then we got over here. We got Spirit in the four two three one. Four two three one. So. Both of those formations are each team's best formation for sure. We got, listen, the crowd's going crazy. People are pumped. Orlando's at home. The this stage, is rigged. The stage, well, there are. <laughs> okay, we got Ali Watt, who yeah. I think is going to be huge for Orlando this weekend. They look so real. Uh, they do, great. yes. Ali Watt, she's been huge for Orlando. Mm -hmm. She assisted in the semifinals. She's going to be on the flank. I think that a lot of teams focus on Banda and Marta, right. and it actually allows Allie to go and do her thing. But then on the other side, we got Casey Krueger. Let's go! So one of, the, one of the best defenders in the league. So these two, in my opinion, are going to be the matchup to watch okay. against each other. You gotta, you gotta pay attention to that. Okay. Kruger and Watt, because it's basically speed against speed, intensity against intensity, and I think whoever wins that matchup is going to win the game, in listen. my opinion. Okay, go, let's go. Okay, we're not actually playing, so oh. you don't have to do the thingies. <laughs> but listen, oh, there's your they didn't you know. train. Okay, listen, now we're watching the game, okay? okay? We're in the game. Spirits won the ball. It's the 24th minute. Let's they go. play on a counter attack. Kick. They're driving down the field. Strike. What's about to happen? Okay, you're still not playing the game. Lacey Santos picks up the ball. Spirit go up early. Spirit go up Let's go. Okay, up early. all right, listen. I, I mean, hey. I actually think Spirit going up part. early. Yeah will not be in their favor. Because Spirit's been winning in, in the final minute. So I really think that this 
is in the favor. Because look at here we go. We have Orlando coming back. Banda evens the score. Oh, we got more spirit people in the house. But listen, Banda scores. She does what she does. Woo! It's a tie game. What do you think's gonna happen now? Let's go, Marta. Let's go, Banda. What do you think's gonna happen now? Spirit's gonna it's score one, again. It's one-one. Okay, we think Spirit's gonna score again. Well, Orlando's on the ball. Where's, They're playing where's, through. Where's Trinity? Hey! It's one, one and a half. It's one one and a half. One one half half. Okay. Oh, it was offside. We got offside over there. Who knows? Offside. I think they would. I think they have VAR in this. Here but listen, this. second half. Orlando's on the ball. Slip ball through to our Adri Adriana. Oh. Goal. Up to two one. <laughs> No, but the problem is they're in Orlando. I mean, this, this looks very similar to how they play. And in my opinion, is what's going to happen on the weekend. But, oh, Spirit, can they? Come on, can let's they? go. No. Denied. Warehouse. Ew. She's like, where are my defenders? Where are they? I'd be, getting, I'd be getting screamed at if I was on her defensive line right now. Look at this save. One-handed. Nice. Do you think you could do that? I can do that because I'm so long. Okay, right, but right, right. The, right. the problem is, is after I hit that ball, somebody got to come hey, pick just, me off the I field. I hate to break to you, but listen. Banda goes again. Here we go. They're up 3-1. It's the 77th, now 78th minute. They're on the ball. They're dancing around. What do we think is going to happen? Spirit defense is going to drop back. They nope. should drop back, yes. It's Marta. 4-1. <laughs> Orlando. Did you set Marta, this up? Marta does a cartwheel. Listen, this is Marta's Super Bowl, you guys. Like, this is... Have your fun now, Kelly. Okay, well, listen. I mean, th this, is, this is how Marta... This is classic Marta right here. Near post finish, bangs it home. Marta's Goes legend, on, bro. puts it 4-1, whistle blows, end of game, 4-1 Orlando. We got a couple people. <laughs> The game was in Orlando. I would listen. Well, maybe it was just. We need to the Kansas place. fans come out. There's gonna be a different outcome. Okay, well listen. Listen. Actually, I need you guys to wear your spirit clothes, okay? I know you guys wish your team was in it, but for right now, I need you to wear your spirit clothes. But guess what, Kelly? What? Before we wrap up, what I are we have talking about? A surprise for you. Oh, do you? Yes. That's my surprise. There's been an end of an era but there's a card celebration for your career. Oh, gosh. Yes, everything this is, that you have given to the NWSL <laughs> and women's is, soccer in America. This, Quiet down. This isn't on my screen. These cards are reserved for legends. Oh. And you, Kelly O'Hara, you're a legend. Oh. So thank you for everything that you've done. And thanks to EA for giving a glimpse into the action oh. this Saturday. Oh, an actual Here's card. Here's your card. Oh, my God, look at me. This Let's is me. go. This is my game day. Oh, yes. Your New York Liberty Championship Let's go! shirt. Yeah. <laughs> You're the best. Oh, my God. Well, listen. I see you. I you do. Oh, my God. Unfortunately, through. our Gotham girls couldn't do it, but our Liberty did. Man, yes. what, a, what a season. We've had an of amazing fast friends, time. Of WNBA, yes. of NWSL. Me teaching you basketball. Me teaching you the beautiful, beautiful game of football. And what's the last part called when they kick? The PKs. But the that PKs. doesn't always happen. I kind of remember. That part I've just learned, guys. That doesn't always happen. All the matches we saw, there weren't any PKs. Correct. OK. But now you know about that Now I part. know about the PKs. So it's been amazing. It has. And thank you all for being along on the journey with us. We've had so much fun making the show for you guys and together. Together. So thank you guys. And let's get rowdy for whoever wins on Saturday. You got the spirit! You got the spirit. Thank you guys.